When you leave Norfolk and start heading south on the ICW, you can either do the Virginia Cut or you can do the Dismal Swamp, which is really quite scenic. This map animation shows the route we took down the Dismal Swamp to the Pasquotank River and into the Albemarle Sound. This is the approach to the split. To the right, you're going to take the Dismal Swamp Cut. It's right after you go under this big highway bridge. Jim's so anxious. He's gotta wait till the light turns green. It's still red. Dismal swamp. Lock. Let water in. We'll go up there. Going through a lock the first time is always kind of scary, but it's really not that difficult at all. Hey, there's a squirrel down there a while ago running back and forth. It must have come on up. Don't you make it out, buddy? Once the water has raised eight feet, the lockmaster opens the gate and boats can proceed on and wait for the lockmaster to hop in his truck and drive on down to open the bridge. Oh yeah, he's still trying. Thanks, sir. <laughs> All right, we'll see you down at the bridge. Good day. He has to open the bridge for us. Open it up, Lewis. The Dismal Swamp has a control depth of six feet. It's definitely idle speed as there are some submerged uh, waterlogged logs at the bottom that can get stirred up if you go too fast, and it's actually not very wide. There's a free dock at the Welcome Center where boats often tie up and spend the night. The next day, we head out of the swamp through the South Mills Lock and on our way to the Albemarle Sound. They spent the night at the Welcome Center as well. They were taking a sabbatical, and it was a family of four heading to the Caribbean for a year. Thanks a lot. Have a good trip. Thank you. My long hair is probably your best bet as far as getting that off. As we entered the Pasquotank River, the sailboaters took a picture of our boat, and we took a picture of theirs, and we, we messaged them to each other. It was really kind of fun. When you get to the Albemarle Sound, your choice is to continue straight across and go down the Alligator River, or you can do what's called the Albemarle Loop, and there's a number of stops. We chose to go the loop, and this is our stop pulling in at the Albemarle Plantation Marina. Tanks are full. Hopefully we're riding level. <laughs> it could be. It could be that uh, that couch is still heavier on that side. And we don't have those heavy chairs. Right.
The next morning, we filled up with fuel and then headed about 18 miles to the quaint town of Edenton, North Carolina. Favorite places, town of Edenton. Edenton Farmers Market that's here every Saturday. We got some quiche, we got some fresh baked bread, and some real McCoy cinnamon whipped honey. This is the third time we've been to the cute town of Edenton, and we finally took a tour of the Roanoke Lighthouse. <laughs> we got two feet all the way up to the top of the Roanoke Lighthouse. Out there's the Shawin River. And if you keep going around, you will see the town of oh, that. And yeah. down there, are the Fleming Home. Last year on our way south, we spent one night in Kilkenny Marina in Georgia, where we were docked just behind this spectacular boat named America. We met the captain slash boat builder and his new wife, and are blessed to now call them dear friends. At the time, Tom and Tiffany lived in Friendship, Maine. Since then, they have purchased an amazing piece of land and marina in Edenton that they are transforming into Stillwater's Retreat and Marina. Nice calm day for traveling a whole 18 miles today. That's 23, or that was the Rocky Hawk. I was Hawk. thinking we were on a Rocky Hawk. Uh, Jim's heading to the dock master's office to pay the bill before we head out of town. As we get ready to go, we come up with the, we call it our plan of attack. Oh, and we have a helper, so we're good. Goodbye, Edenton. That was a good time. A really nice week. Can't wait to come back.